Hello, today I want to show you how you can use Cite to see how a research paper has been cited. This is my study for my PhD, and when you first look at a paper, you generally look at where is it published, who are the authors, and what are their affiliations. In many cases, you'll glance at the number of citations, the number of downloads, views, uh, or increasingly the altmetrics number. If, however, you click through a citation uh, and come to Scopus or Web of Science, what you'll see is a list of titles. It's a lot of work to digest this information and open 65 different documents, uh, making you potentially miss out on very valuable information. With Cite, we make that information digestible uh, so you can see how and why an article has been cited. Using our browser extension, uh, you can click on this and then it takes you over to Cite. And what you're able to see is not only which articles cite your article of interest, but exactly what they say. And so here's a paper in 2018 that came out three years after my work. It says, in agreement with previous work, and then cites my study, the trisomic clone showed similar aberrations, albeit to a lesser extent. This has been classified as su presenting supporting evidence uh, by our deep learning model, and this excerpt of text has been taken from the results section of this article. You're able to filter by where the citations are made in the citing article, whether that's the introduction, the methods, or the results section. You're also able to filter by supporting, mentioning, and contrasting types. Uh, because Cite is looking at citation statements, you can see that a paper can cite another paper multiple times, and you're able to see those different uses, some being classified as supporting, some being classified as mentioning. To organize this, you can filter by engagement, uh, and you'll see the papers that have cited this uh, article of interest the most. In this case, it is a paper that has cited it eight different times. And so there's a lot of information that we're missing out on in typical citations and traditional citations, that we want to make available with site. Hopefully you found that useful and thanks a lot.